Wayne County Executive Robert Fracano has more to worry about than just the FBI. One of his former top aides says he told his office that it was breaking the law and he lost his job for it. We broke this story earlier today on WXYZ.com. Here's 7 Action News investigator Ross Jones. In November, a Wayne County official wrote a report saying the county was breaking the law in the way it spent federal and state road money. Six days after I called him about it, he was fired. I can tell you that I have a clear conscience. I've done absolutely nothing wrong. But one of his former top aides says otherwise tonight. In a four-count whistleblower claim filed yesterday in Wayne County Circuit Court, Stephen McDonald says he was fired by County Executive Robert Ficano in January for blowing the whistle on corruption inside the Guardian building. McDonald was hired last year to come up with a turnaround plan to save the county money. He says while he was looking through the county's books, he learned that it was breaking the law and how it spent federal and state transportation money. According to the lawsuit, McDonald wrote up a report saying the county engaged in taxpayer fraud, corruption and collusion, gross mismanagement of taxpayer roads funds, and more. It was only last year that 7 Action News investigator Scott Lewis exposed that Vacano was using roads dollars to pay for his appointees, some who admitted never working on the county's roads. On 7 Action News last November, Vacano told Stephen Clark and Carolyn Clifford that road money was spent properly. Is there actually uh, road money that's being misspent? There's nothing wrong. In January, I learned about McDonald's report accusing the county of fraud, and I called him about it. When county officials learned about the call, it, quote, raised the ire of McDonald's superiors, the suit says. Only six days later, he was fired. McDonald says it was part of a well-devised scheme to silence him and bury his reports. Robert Ficano's office had no comment on the lawsuit today. McDonald was fired in January along with 12 other appointees that the county said it let go to save money. I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. Thank you, Ross. And late today, Robert Facano's office did issue a statement saying in part that they will defend the county from what they're calling a manufactured lawsuit.